I'm turning old friend into girlfriend. All right. Wait a minute. I already read that one. No, this is a new one. All right. Bill, love the podcast. Would really like yours and Nia's, if possible, thoughts on the subject. Oh, you want Nia's? She's not here. It might be time for another little fucking MMP epilogue. I'll see if she's up for it. I'm only in town for a day and a half. I don't know if I have to. You know what? I'll do another one. You guys like the last one so much. All right. Here we go. There's a girl. There's a girl I know with a hipster's gold called Cunty. But do do twist, twist. Um, <laughs> I should really hand out a free DVD for everybody who knows that song. But I won't because there's too many Flintstone fans out there. That was the Bedrock song. Um, there's a girl I've been friends with for over a decade now. We met in college and for about a year or two back then, I would have considered her one of my closest friends. You ever start reading and you're just not even listening to what you're saying? you guys mind if I go back? Um, is this a guy? What are we doing here? Um, there's a girl I've been friends with for over a decade now. We met in college and for about a year or two back then, I would have considered her one of my closest friends. Um, During that whole time, she had a boyfriend, so I never thought about making a move and lacked the confidence to do so anyway. As time went on, we gradually lost contact until recently when I found her on Facebook. Well, how did you do that? Until recently when you searched her on Facebook because you were thinking about her. If you just said that, that would have been so much less creepier than to say, until recently when I uh, found her on Facebook. Oh, wait, you kind of did say that. Am I even listening to what I'm saying? I'm sorry, sir. I'm an asshole. Anyways, plowing ahead. And we spoke for the first time in eight years. We live in the same city, so I suggested we get together and catch up, um, which she is enthusiastic about and is, going, and is going to happen sometime soon. Now for the details. We are both single and 30 years old. She is recently divorced, no kids, clean break with little or to no drama. She is beautiful and honestly one of the nicest people I've ever met. Back when we were close, I was okay looking, but extremely skinny and shy. Since then, I put on about 25 to 30 pounds of fat and muscle distributed pretty evenly. I like this guy. He's honest. Uh, So I'm looking much better, um, and that has boosted my confidence. Uh, My question. She has only known me as the friend zone guy, but does eight years with no count erase this? Yes. Um, And do you think I might have a shot with her? Yes. And any advice about how to go about and how to act and what to say on the night we catch up would be greatly appreciated. Thanks in advance. P.S. One thing may be an issue here. Uh, She doesn't have herpes, does she? Um, After I suggested a catch up, I checked out her Facebook page and it turns out that she changed her her status from married to single only a day or two earlier. But in real life, she said she'd been single for a few months. So that was inadvertent, rotten timing on my part. Hopefully, I don't come across as tactless, opportunistic douchebag. No, dude, you're fucking overthinking that. Unless she was sitting there watching her Facebook page every day like a fucking day trader, waiting for her to get through that divorce. Then it would be creepy. But other than that, no, dude, you're a good guy. You sound like a good guy anyways. All right, so what is your question? Okay, yeah, dude, you're not in the friend zone anymore. You're a whole new guy. Okay? You're like the, uh, you you know, it's like you had, a, you had a makeover. You got some fucking, you got a little brawn going. You got some confidence. Um, you definitely have a shot with her. She probably was dating assholes back then. And when she's going in the, through that shit, she was probably thinking, you know what, this time around, I'm going to get a nice guy. You know who I should have got with? He was just the nicest guy, and for some reason, I just never fucking blah, blah, blah. And we were such good friends. She probably had that conversation. And when she got to the part where she said, and we were such good friends, she clasped both of her girlfriend's hands in her hands. You know? There's probably some crumpled up tissues in her lap as, you know, she was getting through her divorce. Oh, look at me painting a picture. I think you're in there. All right? Now, don't overthink this shit. Okay? Because you're acting like this girl's already the one. You don't fucking know. You haven't seen her in eight years. So just walk in there fucking and have a good time. Throw your dick on the table and ask her how she's been. What's up, sweetheart? The fuck have you been doing for the last decade, huh? Hey, a couple more drinks over here. Sorry, dick jokes. End of the podcast. Sorry, people. Um, 
Yeah, that's what I would do. Are you funny? Make a laugh. That always works. Tell her she looks good. Just, ah, oh, look at you. You look great. Give her a nice hug or something, you know. If she goes for the hug, give her a hug. Oh, my God. That's the big thing. When you walk in, do not fucking shake her hand. Do not shake her hand. Don't go for the hug if you're not a good hugger, but do not shake her hand. Oh, if you're not a hugger, then what the fuck are you going to do? Oh, you got to hug her. This is what you do. You fucking act like De Niro and Goodfellas after the Lufthansa heist or whatever the fuck it was. Come here, you. Come here, you. Oh, Jimmy. You got to have that fucking vibe. <laughs> Come here, you. That's what you do. What's the matter with you? Um, yeah, just have her bring it in. Give her a nice fucking hug. Then you have a couple of drinks. You know what I mean? And see what happens. Just don't, don't overthink it. You're going to end up psyching yourself out. That's the only thing. 